What's up, Airsoft fans? This is Chaz Buck, along with my co-host... Dick Janikowski here. Dick, how are you? Not too bad. Right on, okay. Well, I know this match that uh, is, is going to come on today, a lot of people are looking forward to it. It's going to be hosted at Intrigue Airsoft in Kansas City, Missouri. It's a nice place, I've heard. It is a nice place. Very nice staff, very nice indoor CQB environment. Mm. And there is the whistle. Game is yeah. on. Here we go. Now, what, what do you think is going through their minds? You played Airsoft for two years. Well, we're going to get a lot of BB shot at them. That's for sure. More than likely. Now, number one mistake a lot of people make is they pop out, they get real aggressive, and forget to check their corners. As you can see there, uh, looks like our player head cam has one confirmed kill already. Yep. I'm seeing a lot of muzzles around. Center window, center window. Lots of muzzle flagging, absolutely. Uh, that's something you really want to work on, especially in close quarters. This match brought to you by Taco Bell. Try the new beef quesarito. Mm, sounds delicious. Live Moss. You're clear. So the name of the game here is going to be a bomb plant. You're going to have one team that's attacking and one team that's defending, but only one team's going to come out on top as the winners. Now it looks like he's got a guy coming around the corner here. Oh, and there's that muzzle again. That's what we talked about. Let's stop it right there. We're going to go back. You see the muzzle pop out. Number one, you're going to see the shadow. You want to check your shadows. Always. Always check your shadows. I think that is Lighting a... Lighting is very important. Absolutely. Absolutely. And watch that muzzle flagging. If you can see somebody's muzzle, you should also see their eyeballs. Real tight quarters in there, Chaz. Oh, absolutely, Dick. Uh, very tight in there indeed. Now our player checked his magazine uh, round count. Uh, looks like he's anticipating a good firefight coming up. Now notice how our player is putting his muzzle as well as his face around the corner so he is prepared to defend. You can tell this guy has checked corners before. He's checked a few corners, Dick. Taking his time, taking his time. Oh! Boom. You know, I think a lot of times, especially on an attack and defend game, uh, you can get very complacent and you, yes. forget, uh, you, you forget to check your environments around you. You kind of get lazy once in a while. There we go. He's working it. Dead player heading back to respawn. Two out in the open with the bomb in hand. And they're down. Boom! From downtown! Nice. Two tangos down. Send them back to respawn. And he's on fire! Oh! You gotta watch out. Also, when you're coming out of respawn, don't just ditzy bop out there. Mm. There could be enemies in the area. Friendly coming out! Friendly coming out! Friendly coming out. I like the way that he shouted friendly coming out uh, as to uh, help eliminate any potential friendly fire. Friendly fire is important. It happens a lot in CQB. Oh, absolutely. You definitely gotta identify your targets. Your IFF. Sure. Absolutely. Roger. Now, I would anticipate the by the skill level of the attackers, um, you'll probably see a muzzle before you see a player body to shoot at. I'd have to agree with you there. Mm. Oh, took a random hit in the back. Uh, I think the player cam, uh, the player with the camera, thought that he had some rear security from his teammates, and he was wrong, unfortunately. Rear security will disappear all of a sudden sometimes. <laughs> The teamwork is next to non-existent here, so it looks like he's covering his own advance, uh, which is what you'll see from a lot of aggravated, older, skilled players, instead of waiting for their teammates. <laughs> this match brought to you by Elite Force. Premium BBs. What's in your mag? Damn it. <laughs> clear. Watch out, watch out. I got a shooter, other side of the big crate, other side of the big crate. Look like you got some teammates down there, Chaz. It does, it does appear that he has some, uh, some friendlies walking off, taking hits, walking back to respawn. Now in this particular game mode, it is unlimited lives, however there is a 15 minute timer on the clock for the attackers to get that bomb planted. Now again, notice the good team uh, communication there. It looks like he's taking some harassing fire from across the way. Uh, he's going to try to give him some chin music back just to keep the enemy player pinned down. 
Now, Chaz, do you know what he just threw there? Uh, that looked like the enemy player did, in fact, have the bomb in hand that he was passing to another attacking player on the enemy team. Still giving that harassing fire right back at him, trying to keep him pinned to where he can't move and he is no longer an asset to his team. Boom, he's down. Uh, a lot of times in CQB, if you, if you play the angles right, it's like a big game of pool, mm. sometimes they'll call the ricochets. Bombs right here center, bomb center. If you want to cross, you're clear. Go, go, go. Friendly, friendly, we got a friendly up there. Watch the Again, fire. showing good team communication, trying to coordinate a, a very. Hanging uh, out enemy positions. Absolutely. Very nice. Absolutely. Very nice, Jazz. Very nice, Dick. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You see the muzzle flash? The he muzzle is not calling it. He is not going to call it. He is not going to call it. Still moving. Pop back out. Still. Exchange of fire. It looks now like they finally call it. took it. Hmm. It only took about half a mag, Jazz. All too often, you see uh, people have this, um, oh, what would you call it, uh, just forward motion. And I think they get caught up in the, the, the adrenaline, the intensity of the situation of running into BB fire that they forget to feel for the BBs mm -hmm. themselves. Well, I think for a lot of the players, this is as close to real combat as they're ever going to see. Absolutely. And as you know, in real combat, run through the bullets. Absolutely. Most human beings are bulletproof. It's science. Now, as any skilled player knows, you want to find the cracks in the walls, especially in CQB. Yeah, I got two in there. I got one behind the Very important to use your environments here in Vantage Chess. Absolutely, Dick. You want to look through the cracks. Dick. Absolutely. Absolutely. The defenders are putting up a hell of a fight. Now, the attackers are going to have to push long and hard, Dick, to get that bomb to where it needs to go. Sounds like it's going to be rough. Oh, it is. It's going to be a rough dick. Hey, hey. There's one in here, there's one in here. As you can see, he, what a lot of field owners don't want to see on their field. That might be a no-no on -no -no some fields. <laughs> uh, definite, in most cases, that's going to be reported directly to the admin, the referees on field, or the field owner themselves. That's not something you really want to see, uh, them throwing hey, Tom, around um, the there? cover and props around the it, field. It doesn't seem very safe, Chaz. I'm it definitely does not, but in a situation like this, Get everybody. Um, you know, I say go for it. What they don't see doesn't I'll hurt. have to agree with you on that one, Chaz. Two. You got one all the way down there, one all the way down the alley. Yeah, Roger. Oh, here we go, a big push from the attackers. Oh, he is he definitely okay? not going to call that one, Chaz. He is not calling that one. Total disregard for the well-being of his girlfriend, threw You're her right, right to the ground, took his head you guys okay? after the fact. Right, I think, again, we're talking about that adrenaline. You know, I think he stepped on her. I really Let's go back and see the instant replay on this. Yeah, right. It oh, yeah. does look like he trampled uh, his girlfriend on her jersey. and yeah. his battle buddy. That's gonna be that's gonna be a long car ride home right Ooh. there, Nick. Walking out. Good try, guys. Good try. As an attacker, I can only imagine that uh, the, the morale is a little bit low after watching two of their players try to make the push, muster up the courage to make the push, and then just get drilled by BBs right there at the gate. That's got to be mentally devastating, Chaz. I believe so. Now, we were given uh, we were given the the, uh, the five-minute warning here, so there's not much time left on this game. Looks like the player is going to go ahead and start working the angles and give the music back to the attackers. Looks like he's going to take the game to their front door this time. Now again, let's pause this, circle that. That's going to be that's a muzzle. A muzzle if that's I mean, a muzzle, absolutely. Mistaken, you, you, you always want to make sure your muzzle is not flagged outside. you got to be... They kind of just have it hanging out there. Absolutely. Boom, boom, two and shots. She took it. Tango down. Hit, 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 hit. That man coming out. Looks like he's going to take a hit <laughs> on that, and he's on his way back to respawn. Game is over. And that is a wrap for myself, Chaz Buck, and Dick Janikowski. This broadcast has been brought to you by Freedom American Ale. If you don't like it, you can go to hell.
get him, Governor. Science. Good job, defenders. Hell of a job, hell of a job, boys. Good job, good job, up high.